Power steering systems start with the steering wheel, of course, up inside the vehicle. Now that steering wheel is attached to a shaft that comes down here and hooks to what's called a power steering rack in most cases. As you turn the wheel up there, it comes down here and turns the rack left and right, which steers your tires down the road. Now I've got the parts out here on a counter so we can see them a little bit better, but here's the power steering rack that I was referring to. And this is where the shaft from the steering wheel attaches. As that turns around here, it turns gears inside of the rack and of course it steers your wheels left and right. Now here's where the power steering part of it comes in. This is a power steering pump and of course it's full of power steering fluid. This pump is attached to your engine and it's usually driven by your serpentine belt. As the engine's running, it's pumping pressurized fluid through lines down to the steering gear. Now, as you turn left and right, there's a cylinder inside here that that pressurized fluid presses against to help you turn the wheels left and right. Once it's done that, the fluid then returns back up to the pump and circulates over and over again. Now, power steering systems are like all other systems. They have their problems. And sometimes the power steering pump may go out or align or even the rack itself. And depending on your type of car, it might be pretty expensive to replace. One common problem is being low on power steering fluid. If you hear a moaning sound coming from your car, especially when you're turning, you might be low. Check the fluid level and top it off if needed. Have a mechanic check the system for leaks or you might end up damaging the system due to a lack of fluid. In an effort to increase gas mileage, some automakers are going to electric motors rather than the old style power steering pumps. Here's why. Think about it. This hydraulic pump is working all the time. Your engine's turning it all the time whether you need assist or not. That's a huge waste of gas because the engine has to power this pump. Now on the other hand, the electric motor will receive a command from the computer only when you need assist and help you turn left or right. Over a long period of time, that's going to add up to a lot of gas savings. To take things one step further, automakers are even talking about drive-by-wire systems in the future. That means that the steering wheel would just have a sensor behind it, and that sensor would tell, like a video game, whether you're turning left or right. Then that sensor would send a command to the car's computer and turn your wheels left or right. That's right, I'm saying that the steering wheel would not be connected to the steering gear at all. Are you ready for that level of trust in your car's computer system? For Channel 6 News, I'm Jim Champion, the Auto Guy.